Good day everyone, I'm meteorologist Adam Kolpak. The temperatures are going to be heating up this weekend, although we will start off on the cool side for Saturday morning. The showers and storms are now over big sky country in Montana. This is behind the cold front that gave us the cooler temperatures. That's going to continue to move away for us. We'll have plenty of sunshine and that heat really picking up for the weekend, not only for Saturday, but also for Sunday. So what's going on? Well, the heat will really be building up and a lot of that heat, which is down towards the desert southwest, will start to move back in from the south and southeast off to the north and northwest, all ahead of an upper air high pressure system. Now what this means is we've got some hotter temperatures or warmer temperatures building aloft with these warmer colors and this is what's going to be moving in. You can see that little trough with the cooler temperatures that gave us a pretty nice Thursday and I'd say Friday was pretty nice as well, but this heat will really be building up for Saturday and Sunday. We're talking about highs in the 80s and 90s. However, we've got another trough that we're watching out here on our upper air graphic that's going to be diving in from the northwest on Monday and potentially Tuesday. What this means is temperatures may cool down a little bit into the early part of next week. So we could have highs generally in the 80s here in the Rogue Valley. Our forecast for the coast, lows will generally be in the 40s and 50s and your highs tomorrow in the 60s and 70s. However, with that offshore flow, that Chetco effect going right down the Chetco River around Brookings and Harbor, that flow is going to be coming down from the hills to the sea and that's a warming flow. So we're looking at temperatures potentially well into the 80s on Saturday around Brookings. Our forecast as we move inland, lows generally in the 40s and 50s. So again, we start off cool on Saturday morning and then we have more sunshine and heat building in by the afternoon with highs in the 80s and 90s. I'm going for the low 90s there in Medford at 92, 53 for the low temperature, 49, 90 for Ashland. I have 48 and 93 for you Cave Junction. East of the Cascades, our low temperatures will be in the 30s and 40s and highs tomorrow generally in the 70s and 80s. A little bit cooler overall up towards Crater Lake. If you are heading up there, 41 and 66. Grab the sunscreen, you'll definitely need it. Stay hydrated as well with sunny conditions and the wind out of the north northwest 10 to 20 miles per hour, some higher gusts possible. Seven day forecast Rogue Valley, 92 for Saturday and Sunday. So that would be considered hot. Our temperatures will be in the 50s and not as hot, or at least cooling down a little bit next week. I have temperatures in the 80s. Look at 4th of July right now on Wednesday. Sunshine mixing with clouds, and during the afternoon, early evening, we'll have temperatures in the mid 80s right now. Our forecast for the Klamath Basin, uh, pretty warm this weekend. Saturday and Sunday in the 80s, cool starts. Next week, 70s and 80s with sunshine mixing in with some clouds. Mount Shasta City. We have highs uh, 88 on Saturday, 90 Sunday, maybe a little bit of a cool down next week into the 80s, possibly low 80s and lows in the 40s and 50s. For the coast, highs will generally be in the 60s and 70s. However, with the Chetco effect being likely on Saturday, I expect high temperatures in the 80s to maybe even around 90 possibly for Brookings. Your lows will be in the 40s and 50s, generally speaking.